There are many ways to sit here for you. Some of you come here as investigators <laughs> some of you just as spectators, some of you as students, some as disciples, a few as devotees. These are the different ways you can sit here. Either you are an investigator or a spectator or a student or a disciple or a devotee. Investigator means you know why he has come, he'll waste his time here because anyway he will not perceive what is happening here. But somebody may enter the place as an investigator and leave the place as a devotee, that is always possible. That we have done to lots of people. <laughs> but those who came otherwise, who to coming to experience, for them they come and do the first program, then they say this is wonderful. They come to the… when they say, this is it, they will say. When they come to the next, next program, if they come to the Bhava Spandana, they say, Isha Yoga, that's nothing, this is it. <laughs> they come to Samyama and say, what Bhava Spandana? That's no good, this is the real thing. Actually, there are many meditators going on like this. They come and ask you, you come for volunteering or something, you done Bhava Spandana? No? Okay. <laughs> you dismissed. In their, in their understanding, you are dismissed. You are no good. You are not experienced Bhavaspadana, you are not at life. <laughs> so, the investigator's experience is very different. If you come as a spectator, sometimes you are on, sometimes you are off, you know. You can enjoy the meal and go. If you come as a student, you want to learn. It all makes you feel very good when you're here. You go home and you're just the same. Nothing has changed. A disciple means somebody who is willing to transform. He wants to transform himself. Transformation means something of the old I'm willing to give up and I'm willing something new to happen to me. I want something new to happen to me. That's a much better way to be. A devotee means one who is willing to dissolve himself completely, he is not even thinking of transformation, he just want to merge with the whole process. Now the question is about a disciple. A disciple means somebody who is willing to transform. Transformation means nothing of the old should be left, only then there is transformation, otherwise it's just a change, isn't it? Many changes you have made with your life already, haven't you? Yes? Many times, consciously, many times unconsciously, you made many changes. <clears throat> but making these changes, when you make a change, it feels good for a while, after that it's just the same old thing. Have you noticed this? With any change that you make, initially it feels great, two days later it's just one more thing. So that is not what we're looking for. When we say transformation, Nothing of the old should remain, something totally new should sprout up within you. If this has to happen, what is needed? See, one thing you need to understand, the very reason why you are here is, you are not able to do it yourself. Yes? yes? Let's understand that. So when you sit here, don't agree with me, don't disagree with me, just be with me. Agreeing and disagreeing comes from a certain knowing, isn't it? So you hold a point, when I say something you agree with it or you disagree with it, both of them are of no use. You agreeing with me is no good, you disagreeing with me is no good. This is an opportunity for you to simply look. First of all, the question of agreeing with me or disagreeing with me doesn't arise because I am not propounding any philosophy. I am not making any statements, I am only asking you simple questions. A question is an opportunity to look. If you agree and disagree with the question itself, there is something wrong with you, isn't it? Yes? There is nothing to agree with a question or disagree with a question. Question is an opportunity or a tool to look deeper and deeper, isn't it? 
So, is it a one-to-one -one relationship? Yes, it is very one-to-one. -one. It's more one-to-one -one than any other relationship. Other relationships come with other frills. The closest relationship that you hold in your life, you will see if you cut off some frills, then that relationship won't work anymore. Things are involved, you know, home, family, money, dress, the kind of body you have, the kind of sweet things that you say, all these things are involved. If you cut off any one of them, you will see the relationship will go. Is that so? Isn't it so? So they are not one to one. Your relationship with your husband, your children, your mother, your father has lot of frills attached. Cut the frills and see, they'll fall apart. This is truly one to one. No frills, just one to one or just one.